Hi, my name is Dr. Colin Swenson, Division of Pulmonary Critical Care Medicine here at the University of Florida. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how to um, both assess as well as access a pleural effusion with uh, ultrasound. So the first thing you want to do, again, this is going to be a uh, thoracentesis, an evaluation of a pleural uh, effusion in a critical care scenario. So for that reason, I'm actually going to leave the mannequin in a supine position. Alternatively, if this is done by the bedside with an ambulatory patient, one can uh, actually do the same procedure uh, taking a posterior thorax approach with the patient sitting up. In this case, the patient is supine. I'm going to use my cardiac probe in order to visualize a pleural effusion. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that the cardiac probe marker is oriented cephalat. And then I'm going to go to the mid-axillary line on the side where I suspect the effusion. In this case, the patient's right-hand side. <clears throat> I'm first going to start a little bit more inferiorly, which is very important in patients with either diaphragmatic paralysis or uh, uh, history of emphysema because their lung fields will be enlarged. And I'm basically I'm going to go a little bit posterior and I'm going to identify the kidney. Moving cephalad with the probe, I'm going to then identify the diaphragm. Now you will actually be able to see the apposition of the uh, hepatic uh, silhouette with the diaphragm uh, by ultrasonography. And just superior to that, we should be able to identify the effusion. So in this case, I'm going to continue. I, I see the diaphragm. I'm going to continue cephalad or superior direction, keeping the probe oriented in the same axis in the mid-axillary line, and I'm going to identify my fluid pocket, which is going to be hypoechoic, as you can see on your screen. In this case, I'm going to make sure that there's at least two to three centimeters of fluid visible. So in this case, it appears as though there's a good pocket between the fourth and the fifth intercostal space laterally in the mid-axillary line. For the purposes of accessing this fluid pocket, I'm going to ask uh, and ensure that the patient stays in the exact same position while I then take my finger and palpate the point of entry. I then take my marker and I'm going to actually make a mark <clears throat> at the approximate site where I'm going to put the needle. There are two ways to do this. One can either use an ultrasound guided approach for the entire procedure, and which is uh, uh, not routinely done at this institution. And the other way to do it is uh, the much more common technique, which is to first identify the fluid collection ensure that the market, ensure that the patient does not move, and then essentially access it without using ultrasound. 